One of the first things we want to do when we get a data set is make sure that whatever version we were handed um, and, and the orientation that we were handed the data in, we can recreate if need be. And that's also related to um, <clears throat> how we might want to just sort of keep track going forward as we start to parse and, and change around our data set. So the first thing I would suggest to do is to come over here, whether you're in Google Sheets, uh, uh, Excel, whatever your spreadsheet is, and insert a column to insert a column or in Google Sheets, insert a column to the left. Boom. I would then title this something like UID or unique identifier or some other uh, similar nomenclature. And this is just going to help us order the information. And so I'm going to go type number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. So whatever we do going forward, we are going to be able to recreate the order in which it was entered um, in the database. Um, that sometimes is helpful to resolve questions, etc. Now, if we have a small database, we could sit there and just keep typing seven, eight, nine, but most of our data sets are long and, they, and that would be problematic. We might mistype a number or something of that nature. So what I would like you guys to do when you're doing this is to you know, type the first couple numbers there and then type the equal sign, which is gonna engage the formulas and tell uh, Excel or Google Sheets to do a calculation. I'm gonna click on the cell right above it, then push the plus sign and number one. So that's telling it to add one number to whatever the number above it is. That comes out as 10. Now, if I copy that cell and paste it, I'm not copying the number 10, I'm copying the function. So as I paste that down, it'll correctly do it. And I'll go, I'll, I'll copy that, go here, and then I'm just gonna drag all the way down until I get to the end of my data set, whatever that, whatever that one is. <clears throat> Go to the last line, hold the shift key down, click this. Now I've selected all those cells and I can hit paste, right? And now we have all the numbers. So that's almost done. The problem is now if I were to sort these, it would get screwed up because this is 382. But now if this one got sorted and became right here, because the formula is relative to the cell above it, it would change the number. So I want to lock these numbers in place once I've established them. So I'm just going to come up here, select the entire column hit copy, and then hit paste special, okay? And I'm going to paste only the values. So before I do that, let's have, let's have a quick look. So right now, if I click on cell that says 7380, the number, the, or what's actually in the cell is not that number. <clears throat> it's a formula to calculate that number. This is what actually is being recorded, with being saved in the computer data set. So I'm going to copy this, paste special, paste the value, and boom. There we go. Now, check it out. Now when I click on that cell, look, it's 7,380. Now I can sort, I can move these cells all around, do whatever I can do, and this number stays consistent. So this is now my, my unique identifier for this entire row of data. There we go. Unique identifier number is really key. Do that early on before you do much with your data set.